I hope y'all out there being safe, staying out the way. Cause shit getting ridiculous out here, dog. Let's roll it. Every day. Every night. Alright. My bad. Alright. <clears throat> so, as y'all can tell, today this video is gonna be a little different. Like, it's alright if you, too many people don't watch it. Um, I just wanted to take the time, honestly, to to honestly be honest with you guys. Like, I'm not really the type to sit here and watch the news. And I've been knowing what's going on, but, you know, I feel like maybe I should say something too. Like, not trying to say something that then, you know, my boy's gonna be heard, but, like, you know take the time to you know acknowledge acknowledge this shit and be like damn like people really had enough of this shit so um i don't know man so i decided to put up a little little video which um i decided to put up a little video you know uh memphis <laughs> protest like bro we just gonna watch what's going on right now like i i don't even know what to say wrong with you because it's just like some of y'all out there is probably like, burn that motherfucker. Some of y'all probably just like, y'all aiming at the wrong view. Overnight, Minneapolis on fire. <laughs> Protesters leaving an auto parts store in flames. Others seen looting a local target. Tonight was a different night of protesting. No lie, I did notice the minute the riot started, everybody started aiming for a target and they started aiming for Target and like a lot of small business. Well, Target's not a small business, but I know that the first thing they went and hit was Target. So I was like, hey, they, I'm like, nigga, people got shit in it. They need y'all just, uh. All of it after demonstrators approached one of the city's police precincts. We're about to lose the front of the precinct if we don't move this crowd out of the front. Officers in riot gear tried to maintain order. You can see the smoke bombs in the distance and police have been firing pepper spray to try and disperse this crowd. Hundreds of protesters have gathered here and now police are trying to push them back to keep the peace. Look, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Talk about wanna keep the peace. I ain't no violent motherfucker, but y'all know how this shit go. Like, ain't nobody no killer until you push them. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody gonna do nothing, you know, this and a third until you like, you really, unless you really poking the fucking bear. So with that being said, it's just like, to me, all this protesting, yes, I get it. I get what we, I know what we're trying to run for. I know what we're trying to stand for. But <laughs> sometimes I can get dark. So what, I, what I'm trying to say is, it's just like, you think if y'all really want to go to war, you're like, bring them bangers out. Start, start, start. Like, yeah, we're going to lose a lot of people, but like, treat it like it's war if y'all really want it because. They gathered <laughs> hours before. <laughs> Furious at the death of 46-year-old George Floyd. When is it really gonna change? When is it really gonna stop? The outrage building nationwide. In Los Angeles overnight, Black Lives Matter protesters blocked the major freeway. This man jumped on a police... Look how he said Black Lives Matter. When is it really gonna stop? The outrage building nationwide. In Los Angeles overnight, Black Lives Matter protesters blocked the Black major Lives freeway. Matter. This man jumped on a police cruiser as it sped away. Damn. President Trump weighed in, saying justice will be served, and that he's asking the FBI to expedite its investigation into the case. Yeah. I'm very sad. Oh, so I can't even understand when this nigga when this nigga starts talking. I it's just like you only want to listen to him, bro. Like. Like, buddy don't be saying nothing fucking serious. And, like, for one, I'm always going to be mad with this nigga. Like, I tell you, I'm Haitian. With him trying to send everybody back to the border, nigga, I got a problem with that. Like, I'm trying to slap the two pay off him. So, with that being said, like, bro, this nigga sitting here and, like, all right, I think there was an article. Well, I think there were, like, a two two or three. Man, I don't know. There was a couple of things that, was, that I read today. Uh, One, come to find out. The counterfeit money, the twenty dollar bill, they said that uh, George Freeman, uh, <laughs> my bad, if I had fucked up his name, uh, George um, had, turned out to be real. You choked the man over a, you thought it was a fake dollar bill, and a fake twenty dollar bill that turned out to be a real twenty dollar bill. Like, and, and my thing is, like, you had the nigga in handcuffs. The nigga couldn't do nothing no more, but you. I'm always gonna say this, bro. When them crackers be fucking with you, I always feel like they had a bad day at home, right? Waking up, 
the wife done fucked up, bright fit, kids shitting everywhere, and they just had a bad day. And the first black person they don't feel they're gonna take it out on you. Like, very, very sad, sad event. <laughs> now, after the four Minneapolis officers involved were fired, the city's mayor is calling on the county attorney to charge the arresting officer. Why is the man who killed George Floyd not in jail? George Floyd. Okay, my bad. George Floyd. That officer, Derek Chauvin, is seen in this now viral video kneeling on Floyd's neck as he begs for help. <laughs> Nigga, you literally like just... Your hand is like dead, bro. You... Like, you, you, you wanted to be an asshole. You wanted to be an asshole, trying to make a point, or I like I like I'm telling you, I feel like Buddy woke up and he was having a bad morning. Like, when you saw that video, one went through your head. That could have been me. The police department initially said Floyd had been physically resisting. This new cell phone video appears to show the moment he steps out of his vehicle. Two officers restrain him. Security footage from a nearby business shows officers walking him across the street in handcuffs. Records show Chauvin was a 19-year veteran of the department. He's been praised for valor during his career, but was also the subject of a dozen police misconduct complaints. Veteran. And nothing about, and nothing that resulted nothing. in no disciplinary action. His attorney declined to comment. This man owns a convenience store nearby. He says a store employee called police when Floyd allegedly tried to use a fake $20 bill, but that he didn't deserve this. My employee called me while the officer had his knee on his, on his, on his, on his neck. And she was crying, telling me, Mike, Mike, what should I do? The guy can't breathe, they're killing him. Again, authorities here this morning are still assessing the damage, no telling how many protests. Nigga, I really don't be watching this shit, dog. Like, like you, you know, everybody's on social media, you watch the little funny memes and all that, but like, to really hear this shit going on and like, Bro. What's the whole purpose of going to training and all this and that? Like, 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 like come on. You really, you really took a man out of his car for a fake twenty dollar bill. Like, you couldn't even be a cool guy to be like, hey, but but let me let me talk to you real quick. Um so you try to go in there uh, buy, buy some things, right? Like, could have tried to like you went in there and tried to buy something and um, you know, did you notice anything was kind of fishy about the money that you had or like, you know, ask a few, like you really got like, the minute you seen the buddy, you just went into like manhandling him, like just like he's a fucking dog, like. Tests are expected later today, but adding to the anger here is a new report from the fire department that reveals that George Floyd showed no signs of life when paramedics arrived on the scene, certainly adding to the question. Hold on. And that's another thing I read. I read um, that they tried to say that he was already, he was already he, low, low, blood, uh, low blood pressure. Like, basically all, all his, all his shit was going down already. Like, he was already looking to get a heart attack, supposedly what they said. But in reality, somebody looked into that shit. He really died from the neck, from the knee on the neck. Like, you really put your whole knee on the nigga's neck. It's like choking a dog. Ah, <laughs> this here. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Gabe, you also mentioned at the top of the piece that there was a, a fatal shooting overnight in the middle of all those protests. What do you know about that? Certainly, Hoda. Well, it's still very early on in the investigation, but there was man, one man found with a fatal gunshot wound. He was later pronounced dead. Police are now investigating that. They're looking into whether a pawn shop owner may have fired a shot and perhaps killed the man. But again, still very early on in the investigation. As you can see behind me, this is still a very chaotic scene. Hoda. And Gabe, a lot of people are also wondering what's taking so long. Yo. Okay, yeah, I don't care how many times I pause this shit because I got a lot to say to this because. Okay, yeah. We did a little protest when they killed Trayvon Martin. We did a little protest. Like, like honestly, I'm going to tell y'all one thing. Like, 
what I feel like when I started noticing a lot of black people started dying. I feel like the minute the fat security guard name, whoever wanted to play mall cop, whatever, that shot Trayvon Martin, I felt like once he got away with that, that's when you've seen a lot of brothers start going down. That's when you've seen a lot of like, thought he had a gun, a hoodie, this and like, bro. Long for any charges to be brought forward, including the mayor who you interviewed. Uh, so is there a timeline for when that may happen? Well, certainly, Hoda, that is adding to the anger here. Many of those protesters are wondering why these officers haven't been charged, but some authorities are asking for calm. A medical examiner's report. They're trying to figure out why haven't he been charged, bro. Even if he gets charged, this nigga, I'm telling you, bro, they're going to have to separate this nigga, bro. This nigga is going to have to be in a cell by, like, it's going to be worse than, than being 6'9", because this, this, like, he can't be around nobody, nobody, like. Nobody, buddy. Like, matter of fact, I think I heard he switched jail by like four times already. Is expected in less than three weeks. As you mentioned, the mayor, though, is taking that rare step on calling for that arresting officer to be charged. It's up to the county attorney. And right now, he's given no timetable on this. What people are asking for as well is perhaps for the body camera video to be released. That is part of this investigation. Still certainly a lot of questions at this point. Hold yeah, on. seems like we've seen that incident from so many different angles. All right, uh, Gabe, thank you. Man, look. Y'all be safe out there. Watch the man. Stay out of the way. Subscribe, like, comment.